Some of the things that I want to do in 2023, I want to slim or trim this down like maybe 50 pairs, I think. I don't need 100 pairs of shoes. Welcome guys to the 2023 sneaker collection video. We've got a ton to get into today. Not only do we have all of these, we've also got all of my downstairs shoes, and we've also got all of these, and we've also got some never before seen exclusives that we'll, we'll get into. Of course, we're going to be going through every single sneaker that I have in my sneaker collection. Not only that, but I'm also going to be doing a $500 sneaker giveaway at some point in this video. I want to kick this video off by saying a massive thing. Thank you to each and every one of you for being part of this freaking journey, man. We hit 500k this year and uh, it's been pretty wild. It, all of this is absolutely crazy. I'm doing what I love every single day and I have you guys to thank. With that being said, let's hop into it. Let's kick it off with the sneakers that are on the ground because all of these shoes normally live all over the house, like downstairs, in my closet. These are like stuff that I'm wearing like last week or just like on a more regular basis. We can start with the ones that are on my feet. We've got the Represent Mules over here, the Represent Berkeys. Super surprisingly comfortable. I always thought like mules like this would be super uncomfortable because it's so, it's like freaking, it's hard on the inside. Over here we got some, some Yeezys, one of my favorites. This is the Yeezy 700 V3 as I yell. I wear these things a bunch uh, to the gym, just running around. Yeezy 350s, I've always got at least one pair of 350s in the rotation. This is the Yeezy 350 V2 bone colorway. As you can see, I wear them a ton. I don't know, they haven't yellowed as much as I thought they would have. Can this fucker... What? Recording. What do you think, little bitch? <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Fuck, are you using your other camera? Jump, jump, jump. Fuck this guy. We got uh, a pair of Jordans that I've been wearing a ton this year. This is the Jordan 1 High Washed Black or Washed Heritage. One of the most wearable Jordan 1s that have dropped this year. Just easy to freaking throw on. Uh, we got Yeezy Slides. This is the Ochre colorway. Uh, this is a pair that's like, I've had these things like ever since they dropped. But the one thing about Yeezy Slides, you don't want to get rid of them even if they look like they're toasted because they get so comfortable, they literally just mold to your foot after a while of wearing these. We got uh, Yeezy Foam Runners, this is my favorite colorway, the Sand Pair, uh, and these are definitely pretty worn in, you can see this. Uh, man, I really need to clean these things, but that's why they live downstairs, right? If I try and put them back on the shelf, like all of these shoes that are on the shelves, I try and like uh, clean them up before I put them back after I've worn them. And then we got the Azure Yeezy Slides. I wore these a lot during the summer. Still wear them, one of my favorite colorways. This is a pair that I need to clean, the Calcite Glow Yeezy 380s. One of the most slept on Yeezy sneakers, but it's really nice and it's super comfortable. And they glow in the dark. You can't tell now, but maybe if I charged them up a little bit. Try and stick the camera in there. We got a lot of winter time boots, obviously, because it's winter time. I wish I had more colorways, but it is the Yeezy Desert Boot. I've got probably my favorite colorway. Um, this is the tan pair, but super comfortable. They are just a little bit weird when it comes to sizing, like you have to literally go a full size up. We've got Represent Boots. Very nice, very, very good quality, super heavy though. Is the Axel Arigato Cryo Boots. I love these things, I break them out every winter time. A little bit dusty, but um, yeah, don't sleep on Axel Arigato for boots. Even their latest ones are super, super nice. Um, one of my latest pickups is the Echo RAL 7000 Studio Street Ace Low, I believe these things are called. Uh, another pair of represent shoes, we got the Bullies. These are super nice retro skate design. Actually got more shelves than I had last year. Like we put, I think at least two or three more than we had last year. We got the Dodgers Dunks, the SB Nike Dunk Low Dodgers. And I think the coolest thing about this pair of shoes is the little gum splatter on the bottom. Take a look at that in pink. That's for chewing gum. Sick, sick pair. It's so easy saying like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these or I'm gonna cut down my sneaker collection, but when it actually comes down to it, every single pair of shoes, I'm like, damn, nah, 
I'm gonna wear these things. I can picture the outfit. Um, we got another pair of Dunk Low by Use. This is just like a UNC colorway. And it's super, yeah, it's it's clean. This was back when like dunks were impossible to get and Nike dropped the Dunk by You and it's better leather than all of the GR ones. So I made the UNC colorway with the sail midsole. I don't know how much detail you can see. It's even got a leather tongue. So yeah, don't be buying GR dunks. Go get yourself a freaking uh, Dunk by You pair because this leather, look at that. Like this is something they hardly put on dunks ever now. Uh, we got the Hyper Royals in the building. Jordan 1 High Hyper Royal. Very, very nice pair. It's like my favorite dunk of the entire year, the born and raised Nike SB Dunk Low. These things are phenomenal and they look really, really cool. Tons of detail. Some people are like, yeah, it's a little bit too much, but I think it's, it's cool. Like the amount of dunks that we've had like this year, last year, for the past like three or four years, it's nice to have something that is this detailed and different. We got the Union LA Dunks. Is this the core purple colorway? I think so. So yeah, very different as well. Solid, like underrated. If you take a look at the price tag on these things nowadays, it's pretty low, but this is a phenomenal collaboration. Final pair of Dunks on this side, we've got the Fly Streetwears, another underrated pair. We got another kind of sneaker of the year, solid pair. I even got you a pair, didn't I, Meg? Because mm -hmm. you really wanted these. This is the first ever Nike SB Jordan 4 collab. So, yeah, it, it's definitely a significant pair of sneakers to drop this year. My pride and joy. I freaking love these things. The Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Found. Uh, yeah, very special shoe. Dropped late 2022. And I think at the time, in my last sneaker collection video, this was the most expensive pair of shoes that I ever bought. Obviously, creating content on the channel, I had to buy these things early, so it's not like this is a super expensive pair of shoes, but I had to pay about 700 pounds or 700, yeah, like seven or 800 dollars to get these in to review before they actually dropped. But that has since been knocked off the top spot and we'll get into that in a, yeah, we'll get into that in a bit. Thunder Red 4s, we actually just found out that they're gonna be doing a Thunder White pair, or like a White Thunder. I really love these things when they first came out. It always reminds me of uh, Playboy Cardi's album, Red, because I think it was like a similar time when these things dropped and it just gives me, like now when I look at these things, I just think of Playboy Cardi and, and that, his last album. The pair of shoes that dropped this year, the Tiana Taylor ones. I've actually had so many people, like, when they see them in the back of the video, they're like, yo, what the hell shoes are those? And it's because, like, when you try and search for these online, I think most of the product images are of this pair of shoes. So, like, well, well this side of the shoes, so you can see, like, the rose Nike swoosh instead of the huge stitched-in one. And I kind of wish they did both of them like this, but... They did kind of different, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But the patent breads, um, not a big fan of these, actually. Never worn them, and I don't know if I ever will. Not a big fan of the patent leather. That's one to get rid of? Well, I don't, yeah, but that's the thing. I don't know if I want to get rid of them, because they are kind of, like, significant. It's a bread one. It's the only bread one I've ever had. It's got the family stitched in there on the inside. Uh, foams. Another one of my favorite releases this year was the, what are these called? Carbon MX, MX Carbons? Oof, we get in there already? Okay, fine, we're getting there already. Guys, we added these to the collection. I'm sure if you guys are, you know, are familiar with the channel, if you've been around this year, you know I bought myself. Uh, actually, we've got, I, like last year, I had zero Travis Scott Jordans. This year, we got three, so. Yes, I added these to the collection. It was a, a big impulse buy. I spent over 1300 on these. <laughs> yeah, reverse mochas. These things are very expensive, super, super expensive, but it's my favorite Travis Scott Jordan, I think. Um, yeah, even more than the fragments. I think these things are just so good looking. And then we've got another very special pair that I added to the collection this year. This is the Zion Williamson Voodoo Jordan 1 Low. Look at the details on here. You've got the rope laces. You've got an upside down little Nike Air branding patch. You've got like crazy textures with this material. It's like burlap material, some suede. You've got like some stitches over there. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite pickups this year. Travis's, the Air Maxes. I wore these in Greece. When was that? Like, that was kind of when they were released. Just something about them that they just don't end up being that prominent in my rotation that much. 
Still a solid pair of Air Maxes though, and uh, I think he did a good job on them. Another pair that I've been wearing a ton, this is the Cream 700 V2. Like, if anybody asks me about Yeezy 700s, I highly recommend them. One of my favorite sneakers of all time. The only issue is that these things, I don't know if you guys can see in the light, but they get so many creases in this midsole. Like, they do burn out pretty quick. We got the Harito Nike SB Dunk Low. Um, another one, another huge favorite for this year. A lot of people liked these. Um, easy slides, you know I gotta keep a bunch of these on deck. This is the Bone colorway. Very, very nice. Um, I don't wear these that often, just because like I'm mainly wearing those. It's like you only need a couple colorways of easy slides and that's about it. Like, you know, maybe two or three max. And uh, I've got way more than that, so. I should be taking my own advice. So, one of the most controversial shoes this year. What do you think about these? Meg, you like them? I think they're a very you shoe. Very me? Yeah. Why is that? Just, I can imagine you wearing them with your cargos, like it's a little bit grungy. Freaking wild. Some people absolutely hate them and they're like, yo, these things are disgusting. It's such a cool pair of sneakers to have in the collection, you know? Like I have these things sitting here and if anybody comes in and like, oh yeah, let me see your, your sneakers because that's always what happens uh, whenever anybody comes over to this house. They always want to see this room. And if you have these things sitting up here and you know, someone could just be like, yo, what the hell is this? And I could be like, yeah, you know, this thing comes off and you could put it backwards and you could put it anywhere on the shoe. Another one, my favorite, one of my favorite sneakers to drop this year is the Yeezy 350 V1 Pirate Black. It's special, man. It is special. I don't know why, but they look like a fake 350. Yeah, yeah everybody says that. It's just because they were like, the most fake shoe of all time when they first dropped. Then we got the Vantas. We're in like the freaking, this is the black lane over here. We got murdered out sneakers on deck. The Vantas, probably my favorite 700 V2. Like look at the difference in the material. Like this has like more of a burlap sack type feeling material, a canvas. And this is like a wide base runner mesh. So yeah, these things are very, very nice. And the price shot up on these. I was like, for Christmas, I was gonna get Dylan a pair of these, and I looked at the price, and I was like, yo, what? I'm not spending 400, but damn, <laughs> that's crazy. Onyx, in fact, I don't even know what the frick colorway this is. Onyx or granite is one of those. Um, but yeah, you gotta have a pair of black foams. If you're gonna go like all black with your outfit, and then you want like, you know, the foam runner vibes, but you want it all black, this is a great pair to do it with. Um, and then we got the Cortez collaboration, the Cortez Air Max 95s. This one was my favorite, or actually was the blue my favorite. A UK collaboration on an Air Max 95 is just, it's like a no-brainer. It's like crumpets and tea. They go together perfectly. Which is a stereotype, I don't think they actually do. I've never had crumpets and tea in my life. Crumpets and marmite. Yeah, oh, that's a good combo right there. This right here is the Mr. Bailey Osmorphous. So, these things I keep on like, you know, I keep on going on about these things because I love them so much, but they are not the most hyped up sneaker. I think Mr. Bailey does some incredible work uh, with his designing and his collaborations, and I hope to see more in the future because these things are cool. And you can cut away this like mesh, which I'm gonna do one day, but not today. One of this year's most popular releases, we got the White Cement 3s in the building. Yeah, love them. I don't need to say anything else about these. We've spoken about these so many times this year. Kind of similar, but we got the Amar Manier 3s. These things are really, really nice. Phenomenal quality. We got the Bone 500s. This is a solid pair of 500s. I don't have too many colorways of the 500s. The Oreo, the white Oreos, the white Oreo Jordan 4. Really, really love these things and I wore them a bunch when they first released and I haven't worn them that recently because yeah, I've been buying a lot of shoes. But they're just like, it's a pair that I always wanna keep in the rotation because I love these things. Solid colorway of the 4s. Maple Waffles, love these things. This is another pair that I need to clean up a little bit. It's uh, got a bunch of scuffs. I'm just delaying cleaning them up because all of this suede. I don't want to mess that up, but I will get round to doing it. One of the most comfortable sneakers you can buy. Incredibly comfortable. Um, Oreo 350s. Yep, solid pair to have. Um, glad I got these things. Almost broke an hour of recording and we're still on this. We're gonna have to be a little bit quicker now. So, uh, Inflame Amber 700s. 
Love these things. Don't think I'll ever get rid of them. It is a very, very nice pair of 700s. Uh, sticking with orange, I think everything's a little bit orange on this shelf. We got the orange lobsters. Looking beautiful. Another pair of shoes that I don't think I'll ever get rid of. We got the, these are the reflective belugas, Yeezy 350s. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever get rid of these things. I don't want to. Off-White Fives, man. This was a huge purchase for me. I remember when I first bought these things and I was like, I shelled out so much money for them. I didn't have all that much money. Just started the YouTube channel and I was like, I want to have a pair of Off-Whites. And I don't think I had any at the time. And this was like... One of the more affordable ones that I did really, really like, so I picked these things up. Another pair of orange 700s, these are the bright blues. Now, I don't know if I necessarily need both of these, so if one of these was gonna get cut from the collection, it would be the bright blues. Uh, we got the Rain Cloud 700, uh, what the fuck? We're not on the 700s, this is the Rain Cloud New Balance 2002 R's. Uh, this is like a must. If you're like a New Balance head, if you're into New Balance, you probably own these things. Or this is like one of the first shoes that you got from New Balance. Zebras! Never going to get rid of these. One of the most iconic 350 colorways. Like, I don't know if I want to get rid of any of my Yeezys because we're never going to get them again. And I don't want to get like two or three years down the line or, or more than that and being like, yo, I wish I picked up the freaking you know, the zebras or, or whatever, and then like never getting the opportunity. They're super expensive. So yeah, I, I, I'm definitely gonna be keeping these in my collection. This is another very special pair of shoes, the Off-White Dunks. This is lot 20, no, lot 32 out of 50. Very, very special pair of shoes because it was so crazy, the release of these things. If you guys remember, they dropped 50 different colorways of these. The only way you could get them was like exclusive access. And I got a pair for retail. So yeah, these are never leaving the collection. My Fragment Sakai LD Waffle. I think an LD Waffle in the collection is a must. This was such a phenomenal collaboration. And this is one of my favorite ones. These are the nylon white ones. A pair of Travis. Look at these, man. Probably one of my favorite colorways. Second favorite, we'll probably go with reverse mochas and then these, but the olives, man, Dylan, if you're watching these, you could have had them, man, you could have had them. If you don't know what video I'm talking about, check in one of the corners and you can have a look at that one. Pretty hilarious. This is probably another one of my most expensive shoes. I think I paid like eight or nine hundred for these. Uh, we got the military blacks. These things are really nice. God, they need a little bit of a clean, looking a little bit dirty, but um, yeah, I mean, just a nice colorway of the fours, super, super wearable. Uh, we've got the M&M fours, damn. These are 30K, you know that, Meg? Hmm? These are worth 30K. M&M Jordan fours and Carhartt. Are you being serious? Yeah. How much did you pay for them? No, I'm joking. These are the, the black cam, what are they? That's what I'd say, you can buy a house. <laughs> These are the black canvas fours. My mom and your fours, another banger pair. Just a little bit of some weird material, kind of, Fucked up on this part over here. I like I got some like stains on it and I try to like scrub it off with um Can you kind of see that little mark there? I can see it with my oh god. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah Yeah, that's uh, I took like a suede eraser and I was like Ugh. And then it was like yeah, it just made it way worse wave runners man oh, man look at these creases and that one's <sighs> Man, I don't even think I have a double up of these either this was a pair that I needed to double up on because this is probably one of my favorite Yeezys of all time. Yeah, easily. But yeah, the Wave Runners, love these things. Never getting rid of those. Uh, blue tints, actually, you know, if we're gonna cut down this collection, I could probably get rid of these. Nice, very, very nice, but not my favorite. You know, if I've got the Zebras, I don't really need these. Come on, man. What is this one? The Salt 350s. These are like the reverse Oreos. Um, and then we've got the other ones, which are Jade Ash 350s. Lightning 4s. Super, super loud, but a very, very nice pair of 4s. And look at that, you got the leather back tab, which is something, again, I prefer over the plastic. That wraps it up for this shelf, so... Turn around. Turn around, Meg. <sighs> I don't know if we can do this. <laughs> You gotta do it. Damn, I need a stool. I can't even get to the top. One day, I would love to just be able to display all of my shoes because it's such a pain when I'm like, I wear a pair of shoes and then I've got to put them back in the box and then like I forget about them for a while so I don't end up wearing them as much. Um, let's just start over here. We got 
bit of a messed up box, but this is the Palomino 3s. Looking real saucy. Oh, man, this is such a nice colorway. We got the Noctas, the Air Force One Love You Forevers. One of the more lazy collaborations. They're nicer leather though. If you are gonna get like an, a, you know, an all white Air Force One, this is not a bad way to go. Some beads like that, so you can have some beads in there, which, yeah. This is a dope pair of shoes. I'm sure like some of you have may have never even seen these before, but this is the Dunk Low Year of the Rabbit. They dropped this year, you get a little sleeve. Look at these things, man. Crazy colors. Year of the Rabbit Dunks. And then one of the coolest parts is like underneath, 2011, for the last year that it was the Year of the Rabbit. <sighs> One of my favorite Jordans this year, we got the Chris Paul Jordan 1 Low. These things are looking real nice. Solid collaboration, I just wish it came with a better box. It's just a regular Jordan 1 box. This was for a video, I don't think we would have. I would have got these things other than for the video. Um, I'll show you what this is, but you got the little Nike Golf thing over there. This is the Golf Travis Scott, it's a very recent release as well. So I'm sure you guys know everything there is to know about this pair of shoes. You've got the Travis Scott, uh, sorry, you've got the Golf underneath, the little like raised thing. So you could definitely wear these things like not playing golf, that's completely fine. But um, yeah, it's solid colorway, very, very nice colorway. Do I need them? Probably not. I'm like, I feel like I'm collecting all of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows and I don't want to be that guy. A lot of these are like shoes that dropped this year, but um, we got the Unions, Jordan 1 Low Union collaboration. We got the Rebellionaires. These things are sick. Probably gonna keep a hold of these things. It's like the shadows, but just crazy. The Rebellionaire Jordan 1 High. This is the Day of the Dead Jordan 1 High. And look at these things, man. They look like an art piece, hey? Like you've got like this velvet material around the ankle. This feels like freaking ceramic, but it's leather. You've got like a ton of embroidery all over them. These are sick. And then look at that, Zoom Air. Yeah, phenomenal sneaker. Love these things. On camera, they look like they're not a real shoe. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. We got the Stealth Jordan 1s. This is a pair of shoes that I bought because I wanted to customize it. These and the next ones, but I, I obviously haven't got around to customizing them yet. Heritage ones. I was gonna do a video like turning freaking $100 shoes into $1,000 shoes, and it would be like a you know a play on customizing. But um, I suck at customizing. <laughs> I don't even know the first thing about it. One of the best Jordan ones that are pretty affordable for this year is the Palominos. Love these things. I'm gonna try and like speed run through a lot of the sneakers that dropped this year just because, you know, we've been speaking about them all year long. We got the Unlucky Greens. It's a solid colorway. For anybody who loves green on a pair of Jordan 1s, these things are a solid pickup. Vintage UNC. These are the Tokyo 96 Jordan 1 Lows. Amazing leather quality for uh, being a freaking pair of like non-OG Jordan 1 Lows. Jordan 1 Taxis, um, last year they dropped these things, and that was a pretty cool thing, because that was like the time we were moving house, remember? And it's like all of these shoes have like some, you know, connection to the channel or our lives, so it's so hard to get rid of them, man. We got some fours over on this side. Here we've got the Red Cement. Solid pair. Frozen Moments, another pair that dropped this year. And this one I was going to get rid of. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and get rid of the chrome. I'm gonna paint over it. So, whenever I get around to doing that. Ooh, this is a very recent one. Fitting for this time of year. We got the Holiday 11s. This is actually the only pair of 11s I have in my collection. It's not a big 11s guy, but I do like these. J Balvin 3s. Yeah, definitely one of the best sneakers to drop this year. Ooh, Union 2s. This is a pair not many people like. This is probably the only pair of twos I have in my collection, so... Yeah, I thought it'd be good to keep a pair of twos, but not the biggest fan. Another pair that dropped this year, so we're not gonna spend too long, but we got the Olive, the Craft Olives. Um, not bad. What's this? Damn, we got two frozen- what the hell? How did I get two of these? Fuck. <laughs> it's probably a good job of getting through this. This collection is getting out of hand. The Midnight Navies. 
This is, this is a cool pair because um, I did a collaboration with eBay. It was a trade-in event. So you would trade a pair of shoes and they would give you another pair uh, that was completely random. So I traded a pair of Union AJKOs and I got these. And I thought, damn, that's a good ass trade. So yeah, you see some of these shoes, they, they got memories, you know. Got the Seafoam 4s. I actually really, really like these. And this is the pair that I prefer. The Craft Originals, the Photons. Like, look at this, look at the material on here. I like them too. Yeah, these are nice. I can't remember what these are, the Dark Iris 3s, I think. Um, yeah, pretty meh. Very recent pair, but we got the Amar Minyar 5s. Got a double up of the Military Blacks. I can't remember how I got these. Did I buy them? Surely I didn't. I can't remember. Double up of the Military Blacks. Double up of the SB4s, like I said. Definitely wanted to double up on these because they are going to become very expensive and I do not want to be It's a it's a pair of shoes that I know in a few years like I'm gonna just like I'm gonna kill them They're all over white and I don't want to pay that resale for them in a few years time uh, Spider-Man's We got the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse This is another very unique pair of Jordan ones that I love to have in the collection because it's just like one of those It's like yo, what the hell are those? And you're like, yeah, man, these are the Spider-Mans that actually glow underneath. We've got a whole UNC round coming up. So we got the UNC 6s, UNC 5s as well. Man, it's a nice little UNC collection going on. Uh, and then finally, we got the UNC 1s. Favorite out of the three, I would say. Oh, the Satin Breads. These dropped this year. I think that's the move is probably to get rid of the patents and then keep the Satins. Or which one? Let me know down in the comment section. Patents or satin? Speed running through this one. Here we got oh, one of my favorite sneakers from this year. The Panda Jordan 1. Georgetown. So we got another pair of 85 cut Jordan 1s. This is the Georgetown colorway. Another very, very solid pair. Is this another? Oh, God damn. This is the... Um, what are they called? <laughs> Freaking... The gorilla ones, the pony hair ones. What are these called? I don't know. I forget. Next row, where does it start? Over here. So pretty much all of these are going to be Jordan ones. Um, oh, here we got probably one of the most popular Jordan ones of the last three years. We got the actual mochas. Of course, the Palominos being the 2.0s. And we got a pair of, damn, son. We got the patinas. Hey! Ah! I didn't want to spray. What came out? Did I? <laughs> uh, my throat. I was like, Hachia! really nice leather is probably the main thing that I can say about these. Very, very nice quality. <sighs> this might be. Let's let's get into it. One of the most hated sneakers in my collection, and I don't know why I still have them. The metallic gold. Or my attention was like, yo, I'm gonna wear these with like a suit and it's gonna be a freaking epic fit. And then we got, oh, one of my favorite Jordan ones. These things, the Stage Haze, very, very nice. What are these? Oh, we got the Starfish Lows. Here we got the Electro Oranges. This is another very, I, I really like this colorway, but like I said last year when we spoke about them, the glittery orange is not my favorite. Ooh. You like that? <laughs> yeah. We got a double up of the Chicago's. I don't really need to pull them out. You guys know the deal. Here we got dark marinas. Yeah, not my favorite pair. Ooh, here we got the powder blues. Here we got the Royal Reimagines. My only pair of Royals and I do want a Royal Jordan 1, but yeah, not my favorite material. Do wish, like most people, that they were leather. These are definitely staying in the collection. We got the black toe ones. Yeah, and they did these very well. They did them very, very well. Let's keep it moving. One that I really wanted to show you guys in today's video is crazy. I went to my parents' house and they were like, yo, we've got like some of your shoes in uh, the storage unit. Do you want them? And I was like, what pair of shoes? Gave me this bag of shoes and it's crazy because in here is the first ever like nice sneakers that I had from when I was a kid. And these were obviously when I was living in South Africa, um, I bought them out there. And like these were the only ones that I could bring with me on the plane. Um, 
So this is the first one. We've got a pair of Jordan Flight Club 91s. I actually didn't know the name of these things when I uh, first got them. I just saw like the freaking Jordan logo and I was like, yo, that's so sick. Now these are from like 2012, I believe. So I would have been how old in 2012? Minus 11 years, so 14. Yeah, 14. So this is really like the sneaker that made me a sneakerhead. Um, and then there's also another pair, which I would also say I got like around that same time, which is a pair of Air Force Ones, some like Midnight Navy Ones from around the same time. So I don't know if anybody on this freaking planet even knows that these shoes exist, but these were the shoes that started my entire sneakerhead life. And I thought it was just so cool. I saw these things. And I was like, yo, I've got to show, uh, I've got to show the people what kicked this all off. So yeah, those are two very special shoes. I'm just keeping them in a freaking Waitrose bag. I don't know, maybe one day I put them on display or something because I just think it's pretty cool. All right, let's get into weird and miscellaneous over here. Oh, well, not all of them are weird, but some of them are like, let's kick it off with this one. This is a pair of shoes made out of what's like the non like you know crazy way that I can say it uh, woman's toys and this is the shoe in here take a look at that this is made out of recycled woman's toys I actually made um, a video on these on the channel it was like a short video and that it just immediately got demonetized because I actually said the word um, so I'm not gonna do that again got a pair from Zellerfeld this is gonna be dope this is uh, a fully 3D printed shoe that they sent over to me. So we've got like the little note here. And here are the shoes. This is a huge part of the channel. I'm never going to get rid of these. This is the 3D printed shoe that I wore for 30 days straight. For that, when I threw these things into a, uh, what was oh, it? No. A lawnmower. I threw these into a lawnmower so you can see that they're cut open. But. This is the Alex 1017 9SM. Oh yeah, I bought these for my world's most futuristic sneaker video. Super uncomfortable. They're also very expensive as well. So what else we got? We got some SBs over here. These are the Why So Sads. You guys have probably seen them. Why So Sads. We got the Albino and Preto Nike SBs. These things are cool. I think I'm gonna tear these things up at some point because there's like a bunch of colors underneath them. So if you took like a razor blade, underneath every single panel is like a different color. Oh, the Supremes! Man, you see this is the thing, it's like I wanted to wear these things a lot more, but I haven't yet. And it's just because they're in a box, so I need to chuck them on the shelf or something. But yeah, Supreme SBs, they dropped this year, you got a little gold lace debris. Also we got some Pollux Crocs shoes, and they've just never fit me. I've tried to get the right freaking size, and every time I mess it up, they're just huge. This is, I don't even know, the urchin colorway or something like that. Is that what it's called? You guys gotta know what these things are, man. This is the yeehaws right here. <laughs> this is the Crocs cowboy boots. Um, bought these to make a video on. I don't know if I'll ever wear these. To be fair, I kind of did wear these for Halloween. We went to a Halloween party and <laughs> threw these on. This one is, is wild. I don't even know if I've even really looked at these, but this is from Jake. If you guys know Jake, uh, how do you say his name? Pol Polomino or something? But he does like all of the customizations and stuff on Instagram. So he sent me this pair of shoes. And then like as soon as I got them, he was like, yo, hold off on showing them on the channel because we're getting hit with a lawsuit or something. So... He basically had to stop selling these. I don't really know what happened to his situation, but you get this little bag, which is really nice. I actually forgot these things are so cool. Look at that, they're like teddies. Yeah, so these are the Kizos. I don't know what happened to them if they ever dropped, but huge shout out to Jake for sending them over. You get a ton of different laces in here. Might as well go through these because these are just like the very latest shoes that I have. So I just kind of put them off to the side. Obviously we got the Power Puffs in. Uh, hopefully you guys saw the review on these things. Uh, no Two Ways, man. Love No Two Ways. Obviously, if you don't know who they are, UK brand started by Calyx, the YouTuber. Um, Rockwell Princely is who designs them. And they send me a bunch of their stuff, like, all the time. And I'm just hugely thankful to them for always supporting the channel 
and keeping me in mind when they do their new releases. So this is like the latest collection. It's like a waterproof style type of shoe, hiking inspired. They sent me this one, which is the first ever friends and family exclusive that I got. So you got a little sign over there that says friends and family. So that's really special. Never gonna get rid of these because the first friends and family pair that I've ever had. Another friends and family. This is another one of their recent launches. Look at that. In fact, they sent me like a regular pair. And then when I took a video of it for my Instagram, Rockwell uh, saw that they were not friends and family. And he was like, yo, what the hell? We were supposed to send you the friends and family. And he sent me his personal pair, which is crazy. So yeah, I got nothing but love for, for No Two Ways and the whole team. Over here, we got some more Salehis. So the Pollock slides. And these are really, really cool. But I think they're the wrong size again. Got some Crocs. We got the Lightning McQueen ones, so these actually light up. There you go. The Lightning McQueens. The Shrocks. Look at them bad boys. The Shrek Crocs, guys. You got the nose, the ears, the weird green color. Here we've got some Adidas Sambas. Here we go. This is the Sporty and Rich collaboration. Probably not a sneaker that... I'm a big fan of, just not a big fan of Sambas in general, but I did make a video on them and they are very, very nice, like in terms of this quality. Oh, we got the Chicago's, Chicago Dunks, which I stole the laces from. What shoe did I, I used the laces for some other shoe. So this is from a company called Factory Lab and they are basically, the guy who uh, started it is Omar Bailey who was a previous Yeezy designer who worked on the Yeezy Foam Runner. He branched off and started his own company and this was like the first shoe from that uh, company. It's called the Night Runner. So they, they smell so strong. We've got another foam shoe. This one's from No Two Ways. Again, they come like this with like a, a little sock piece in them. The Adidas Foams, the Adidas Foam Superstar, the Addy Qs. I didn't really realize that I actually kind of like them. So that's when I bought this black colorway. And I think these with like, you know, baggy cargos is actually a really cool look. What started it all for Adidas and Ye, the Addy Foam Qs. This is famously the Foam Runner copy that Adidas made and everybody went crazy when they released these. Same thing with these, this is the latest one, the Addy Foam Climacools. Just wild, man. I just wanted to check these things out. We got a pair of Sakai's. This is the Sakai Blazer. It's not my favorite Sakai collab. We got the neck face dunks, wild things. Look at these, man. Look at all those patches. Like one of them even has like hair on it. A pair of 2002 R's. This is part of the protection pack as well. This is the white colorway. Then we got some bad bunnies in the building. Probably my two favorites from, did they drop this year? Not even entirely sure. We got the forums. Incredible value for money. Like such a well-made shoe with a bunch of extra. Another one, I think they really killed this collaboration. These are the campuses. And again, just phenomenal material. Really, really nice. This is the Warped Runner. This is actually a very nice pair of shoes. I've only worn like two or three times and it's so incredibly comfortable and I just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wear them more. I really like these things, solid. I might actually just chuck them out like downstairs. This is the Joe Fresh Goods 9060 collab. Such a nice colorway. And another protection pack. This one is the blue one. Yeah, I don't need these after I got the rain clouds. This is again, like I bought the white ones, then I bought these ones, and then I got the rain clouds, which dropped in price, and then I was like, oh, I don't really need these. ALD, these are the 1906 R's. ALD collab. And we got a pair of New Balance. Ooh, these, this is the Action Bronson collab. Look at these things. What are these? The baklavas. All right, a pair of shoes that I'm definitely keeping in the collection is the Big Bubbles. This is dope. So they brought these back. Was it this year? I think it was this year, Air Max Day. Got some uh, some sacks. 
What is this? This is a wild pair of shoes, and I'm not the biggest fan of this colorway, but it's a very solid pair. Man, this is a pair of shoes that I really wanted to love, but like I said last year and whenever they released, they're just too narrow underneath so that you feel like you're, you're Bambi walking around. Like you're gonna just roll your ankle. This is a relatively recent pickup, and it is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Sakai Vapor Waffle. Absolutely wild, hey? Speaking of wild shoes, here we have the Keto Wears Fossil X. This is a freaking skull. They're so ridiculously heavy, they feel like they were literally made out of clay. If they used a lighter foam, I would wear these things, but because this is so heavy, it feels weird to walk around in. Off-white, this is the Terraforma. Um, one of Virgil Abloh's only original, well, first original designs with Nike. I say original designs as in like first signature shoe. That's not like a Air Force One or a Jordan One or a Jordan Four, like an existing pair of shoes. Another one of my least favorites. Let's put it that way. Not I hate is a strong word because I do like this shoe. <laughs> it's crazy with the spikes, but. It's just, yeah, it's a shoe that I, I don't really think that, you know, I'm going to wear that often, if ever. Here we got the Noctas, Drake's shoe. Part, you know, despite everybody not liking them, I do like them. I, I like this pair of shoes. Got some more Travis's. Damn, son, this is the Trainers. Look at these things. This is like one of those Travis's that is just so under retail, it's not even crazy. I mean, it is crazy. <laughs> It is crazy. The Oski Dunks. Look at these bad boys. This is a, probably a pair of Dunks I'm, I'm not going to get rid of because I just like that shark and just the general colorway of these things. The Clot Dunks, another very special pair of shoes. Look at them things. Them things be thangin'. What's on that? Uh, it's, like a, it's like a satin type of material with a bunch of different branding on them. Dunk by Use. Is this the Pandas? I think it's the pandas. Nice until I got like the Jordan 1 black and white and then I don't know some other black and white dunks. Oh the uh, Yuto Horigomes. One of the best dunks to drop this year. Very very nice. Finally for this shelf we've got the Stussy Air Forces. These bad boys. Look at them they're clean. Kind of a little bit dirty. On to the Yeezys now. So we're gonna start at the top. Oh yeah, this is gonna be quick. We got another sand foam runner. My double up pair, I'm gonna keep on ice, is the Stone Sage colorway. We got the Vermilions, the Red October Yeezy foam runners. A lot of these are from like the recent Yeezy days. What is this? Sand taupe or something like that. Oh, this has got to be the recent one. It's like a tan color. Maybe this is the ochre or flax colorway. Uh, last pair of foam runners. This is... Damn. Is that... Maybe this is the granite and that's the onyx. Or that's the onyx and this is the granite. This is from Factory Lab. The freaking mocks. The Factory Lab moccasins. And I'm sorry, Factory Lab. I'm sorry, but these are just, they're not it. This is a strong contender, a contender for <laughs> most hated shoe. The compact red, very, very comfortable, not a great colorway. This is the cinder colorway and it's the dumpling shoes. It's nice. I definitely want to keep a 450 in the collection. We got the foam 450s. These are the Yeezy 450 slides that we never thought were going to release. And pull them out. Yeah, we never thought we would ever see these things, but they drop. We got some Yeezy slides. I actually got a lot of Yeezy slides. We got the Slate Marine. Gotta have a black pair, just in case we need a black pair. This is the Onyx Yeezy slide. Here we got Yeezy 500. These are the tactical boots. This is the pair that I, uh, I burnt the laces on when I made that video. Because basically the laces are like fire starters. See inside there, there's like a little fire starting red cord in there. Here we got the crazy pirate black 950s. These are so cool. Definitely keeping these in the collection. I think I'm going to skip some of these easy slides. We've got like 
So many Yeezy slides. Yeah. Slide. This is crazy. Yeezy slide. Nobody needs this many pairs of slides. Yeezy slide. Yeezy slide. The why I have so many is because I made a video like going over the sizing. So I like bought all of them. And uh, to be fair, a lot of them I got through like the latest uh, Yeezy days. So it's like the recent colorways. Like another pair of these freaking Slate Marines. These ones, blacks. I uh, got some Yeezy 700s. These are the analogs. And yeah, I've been wearing them quite a bit. The issue with this colorway is that it gets so stained randomly. Super stained, like just a random yellow mark. And I don't even know what that's from. Same thing on this pair. Like... Look at that, this is like, I already cleaned these things up. We've got some more 380s. This is the Pyrite colorway. Only, this is the second colorway of the 380s I have. These are probably some more Yeezy Day pickups. This is the Tefra Yeezy 700 V2. What's this? Oh, we got the Kyanite. Nice pair. 350 V2. Oh, we got the Dark Belugas. Another recent Easy Day pickup. It's five. What did I get these for you and then you didn't want them or something? Or we, we got like two pairs because this is your yeah, size. Yeah, I got them. I wear those. This time we got the triple blacks. Sick pair. I like these. I th I'm thinking of like cutting out the laces and, and then just wearing them with like regular laces. Yeah, so this is the on ice pair of statics that I have from the last Easy Day. Here we go. Look at that, retail pair. Another pair of 700s, a recent one, the Utility Black from a recent drop. Oh, we got some Quantum. So these things I got like immediately for like 130 bucks. And I was like, it's too good of a price to pass up on. I know it's just because nobody likes the Yeezy Quantums, but I got this pair and I've also got the OG pair, which I actually wear quite a bit to like the gym. So I keep these. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a giveaway and here's the rule. So first off, I wanna say a massive thank you to each and every one of you guys who have supported this channel up until this point. Uh, it's been insane. Like all of this is because of you guys. So here's the giveaway, $500 sneaker in your size and you can be in whatever country, I'll ship it out to you. We did a giveaway just like this when I hit 500K uh, and it was super easy. All I did was like whoever the winner was, I just bought the pair of shoes that they wanted off of StockX and just shipped it straight to them. So we can do literally just that. Any sneaker you want that's worth $500. All you gotta do is like this video and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'll chuck the link for that down in the description. And finally, just comment on this video what $500 sneaker would you get if you won. So that's it. Just comment down below. Follow me on IG. Uh, and then of course, like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I look forward to reading through those comments and seeing what you guys want to get. I'll announce the winner in like a couple weeks' time. We'll, we'll, I'll announce the winner like first week of 2024. How about that? Here we got, oh yes, my double up pair of the Azales. More 350s. Ooh, we got the, the Black Fridays. We got the Red Stripes. Another pair of 350s. Oh, we got the Onyx one. So this is from the latest Yeezy Day. And I thought, you know what? Always good to have a triple black pair of 350s. Damn, another pair of 350s. Oh, the Statics. This is probably one of my favorite pickups from this year. Just one of. I'm just so glad that I have these things. It's a pair that I always wanted, but obviously the price was just ludicrous. But now these things are going for like under retail We're in the 350 zone. Oh yeah, whoa, we got an, I didn't even know I had these things, man. We got another pair of zebras, another on ice pair, another pair of 350s, granite 350s. These were the ones that everybody thought was gonna be like the first uh, Adidas Yeezy without Kanye West. Here we got, damn son, <laughs> we got a triple up. How do I have three pairs? All right, ooh, we got some 500s in the building. This is the Yeezy 500 Stone. Another pair of 500s. Well, this is like the crazy colored ones. The Inflame Ambers. Um, oh, of course, we got a pair of Utility Blacks. Looking clean. Why do we have another pair of Utility <laughs> Oh, is it yours, man? Oh! These are yours. Didn't um... like them? I, don't, I just find it really hard to style black shoes. Damn. 
that it? That is all of the shoes. So there you have it. That is all of my sneaker collection. Every single shoe, even some ones that I had from when I was a kid. Some never seen before on the channel exclusives. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Thank you so much for being with me on this whole journey of creating sneaker YouTube content. Honestly, it is my dream job that I love doing every single day. And this is super fun. This is exciting. I'm ready to kill 2024. I hope you guys are as well. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you made it to this point in the video, that's crazy because we've been filming for like two hours or something. So I don't know what it's going to end up as like cut down, probably super long as well. But um, thank you for making it to this point. I truly appreciate you. And 